Well, good morning. It's Thursday, May the 6th. And I talked a little bit this morning in the devotion about sudden destruction. You know, Proverbs 6.13 says, Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. And, uh, and the history tells us that despite its location on a little island in the Texas Gulf Coast, uh, and the destruction that was brought by a hurricane in uh, the, a neighboring Indianola, the residents of Galveston, Texas, uh, did not see a, a need to build a seawall to protect the city from a major storm. And though the United States Weather Bureau, this is in 19 year 1900, was aware that a tropical storm was was brewing, uh, passing through the, the Caribbean there. Uh, they really didn't have the means to track it like we do today. Today we have so much more capabilities. And so the warnings were issued that a hurricane was coming, but they were issued way too late. And so on September the 8th in, in 1900, a massive hurricane which caused the, the uh, deadliest natural disaster in the United States uh, history struck the thriving town uh, there uh, in in uh, Galveston, and the modern these are the estimates. The modern estimates uh, place it. They believe they didn't have the cat the ability to rate them like they do now. So they believe it's probably a Category Four uh, hurricane. Uh, the wind speeds got up to 100 miles an hour before they it blew over the equipment that they had to, to even test what the wind was uh, back then. And a storm surge of more than 15 feet uh, of water uh, swept over the uh the the low island there and uh, it just destroyed thousands of homes uh, and buildings uh, the estimates uh, of the total loss of life there were as high as twelve thousand people and matter of fact it talked about the fact that the burial plots uh, there couldn't even be found for the massive number of bodies and they had to have funeral homes uh, with the big uh, furnaces with the ability to um, to take and build to burn the, and cremate the remains. But the the reason for that is that, you know, the residents of Galveston, they, they thought that they were just living in a perfectly safe environment. Uh, when in fact, you know, they were really in uh, enormous danger. And, and that's what, uh, when people who think they they have a casual relationship about sin. That's what it does too. You know, we just people just take a flippant attitude about it. They, we've been studying that in Sunday school, and you know about Solomon warning about the dangers of and people out there who, who just don't think anything about uh, sin. They just have the you know these these attitudes, and and they're fools as as he talks about them, the foolish uh, attitudes, and it talks about discipline and. Uh, and things that go along with it. So, you know, the, the fact that God's mercy may sometimes uh, delay immediate judgment, that uh, doesn't mean that sin's hidden from his eyes. And that can be as much with our country, too. You know, we try to we try to, to go along. We're so worried in our country about being politically correct and, and actually about pleasing everybody but God. We don't even seem like we don't worry about what it is that God wants us to do. Moses warned the children of Israel this. He says, be sure your sins will find you out in Numbers 32, 23. So rather than being lulled into complacency, what we should do is run to God. Run to God and repent. That's what we need to do as a nation. We need to run to God and we need to repent and we need to, to turn back to, to, the, to the ways, to the, the things that our forefathers had set up with this country. We need to just to, to turn back to God. And that's going to start with each and every one of us. We need to turn back to God as Christians. We need to turn back to God and and uh, and be what we ought to be. It's got to start with the family. And with the family means it starts with us. It starts with me. And, uh, and so we need to do that. So rather than raiding for judgment or destruction and any of that, we need just to repent of that sin and ask God, uh, to forgive us by what he tells us that if we confess our sins he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so don't so don't think that that god's not watching beware of sudden destruction it may not be it may not be something that we see coming 
but uh, but the Bible tells us that things will find us out. So just that's just an encouragement for you today in, in Proverbs and just uh, thinking about that. And I hope you have a great day.